Thanks, Brooks. Um, thanks to you and AGU for hosting us this year. Welcome, fellow annotation geeks. Um, <laughs> especially this one right here. Um, we started iAnnotate uh, to bring people together who care deeply about an open, interoperable future for annotation and what that would mean for humanity. Uh, the W3C standard that we have was conceived of and implemented by many of the folks in this room and planned in sessions in and around previous iAnnotates. Hard to believe this is our seventh one already with what looks to be some of our best presentations yet. This year we celebrate the 30th anniversary of the web and the proposal that Tim Berners-Lee made uh, in 1989 where he called out annotation of links and nodes as one of the core features that would define it. So it's with particular pleasure that I welcome Gardner Campbell uh, uh, to kick this off for us. In December, I saw Gardner give the keynote at another remarkable event, the celebration of the 50th anniversary of Doug Engelbart's Mother of All Demos, the groundbreaking demonstration in 1968 where he set up two workstations, one in San Francisco and one in Menlo Park, and for the first time, two people collaborated in real time at a distance over a computer network complete with video conferencing and screen sharing. Our modern vision of real-time collaborative annotation for all knowledge owes just about everything to Doug's ideas and his hard work in implementing them. Tim Berners-Lee was in the front row in December when Gardner honored Engelbart, who made Tim's work possible. This spring, Gardner hosted another interesting event, an extended annotation of notable individuals over Doug Engelbart's seminal 1962 document, Augmenting Human Intellect, where Doug lays out his key ideas about how networked interaction can turn us all into a race of super beings. A pioneer in adapting Engelbart's conceptual framework to teaching and learning in higher education, Gardner is currently writing a book that will tell the story of Doug's impact on us all, how it came to be, why it's important, and why we must learn from it if we are to use computing technologies to improve our world rather than degrade it. Who better to get us started this morning? Gardner. 